You know, I've showed you guys my fancy magnet, but I'm not wearing it today. Um, you know, there's two cool things about these pants. I mean, one main thing about them that, that is horrible is they're baggy. Nobody buys these jeans online, so they're $20. They're Dickies, but they're just those uh, carpenter pants, which are too baggy for me. But one really cool thing is it's got a hive tool pocket. So I'll link them down below. You guys don't mind baggy pants. They're work pants. take a look at this colony because if this colony isn't good if this colony is in bad shape or doesn't have a queen or or any of that at this point I would probably just shake these bees into that other hive Okay, let's get in here. It actually doesn't look that bad. Okay, so we got a little bit of room to work. Okay, nothing there. Things really cooled off on this frame. Huh. Well, if I don't see a queen, like I said, I'm going to stick with my original plan. I'm just going to introduce this. I might just do that. There's no queen in here, but there was... I think what we did was the, the fresh eggs developed into this. And this is where we're at now. So... Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to introduce this. I'm just going to give this to that colony that has a queen right here. I've already introduced fresh eggs twice. So at this point I'm going to take these bees and, and introduce them to a mated queen hive. They're going to come in here and they're going to smell larva. And there's no eggs in here. There's no laying there's no laying queen yet, or lane uh, worker, but we've got some honey and these bees can use this. So they're in much better shape now. some good bees that should be a much stronger hive because of what we did come on canter cover all right so that's what's so good about a failed operation. You can take their resources and add them to a smaller hive, which is exactly what we did. Now this, this colony is gonna grow faster and there may be a little bit of fighting, but they'll get over it fast because they're gonna smell that brood. They're gonna smell that queen's uh, brood and they're gonna be happy that they have a queen. If you catch them before there's a laying worker in there, there won't be a problem. Just gonna act like I'm moving them in just like I would. But if we strike out here, here we go. We need to see a queen. Nothing there.
there is a queen, we'll probably see her right here. My goodness. Nothing. I just see foragers. And the bees that I shook off. I do see bee with pollen. You might get lucky. Last frame. Yeah, there is a queen. Holy moly. She's right there. See her? So, she's got a lot of drawn out comb. I'm just going to let her do her thing. One too many frames in here. Here we go. Where's she at? I just want to know where she's at before I put her in there. There she is, right in the middle. Okay. That way I'm extra careful. Now, I'm going to leave her in here with this colony. I'm going to shake these bees in. And we're going to come back and check on these. I'm going to leave this broken brick on here. I need these nuke boxes or I would actually just would have kept them in the nuke. But we need to move the, the, the splits that are in the castle out into the nukes. So, but these girls will be fine in here. They're gonna just, um, I'm gonna start feeding them and they'll be able to work a little bit faster. Okay, time for an inner cover. Queen, holy moly, she's right there. here so she's got a lot of drawn out comb 